Hello traders. Welcome to KineFX Academy YouTube channel. My name is Akin Lakin. I am the lead instructor. So guys, based on popular demand, that just should um give them a spike strategy. So that is why I come up with this. Though this is not a new strategy, it has been a strategy that I've been using for long. You understand? So and I don't know, maybe I've dropped it before under this channel, but I just say I should um come up with it because the strategy is still valid it's still work it has been working and it's still working as you continue working i'm very sure of that the reason why is because it contains a lot of indicators you understand it's an information getting from multiple indicators and you know once you have two to three witness you know according to uh -huh. so now we have multiple indicators that give us the signal you understand so um what are the indicators first of all let me show you the settings for the indicator you can see that i place the buy here you understand so in the blink of eye so i just exit the video for like two minutes and when i come back i see that the spike has happened already so i close the trade you understand so though i use um 10 lots so it depends on the, on the lots you use you understand so trading is all about lots but just have it in mind that the higher the bigger the loss size the higher the risk you are taking so you understand so you should know that you should uh, no matter how big your lot size is it should be under the amount of money you can afford to lose you understand let's have that mindset so what are the um, parameters for this indicators and how does the strategy plays out so let me um quickly show you the settings on the main charts which is not that really um important for us when we are cashing spike the reason why the moving average on the main chart is there is when we are trading markets accordingly you understand when we want to sell boom and want to buy crash which we are not cash and spike that is the usefulness of this in uh, moving average on the main chart. though i'm going to explain that too but first of all let's focus on the spike but you can add it just add it so the parameter is start is shift 10 the method is linear with apply to typical price so um add that you can take the screenshots click on done so the second moving average under the main chart is period 20 so our method is linear width so apply to weighted close just add the parameters like that so under the indicator window the first thing to add is the relative strength index which is the rsi so the period bring it back to 10 apply to low not apply to close here now so it's applied to low you understand take note of take note of that this tie um doesn't really um necessary so just use the background color of your shots because we are not needed the we don't need the um style of the rsi so under the levels come to 10 uh, 90 you understand you can put pixel as a ticker one you can see i use for use any color of your choice then click on done after you have entered all these parameters then the first moving average is 10 shift to zero method simple apply to close you understand so choose a new color you understand so the second moving average under the indicator window is a period 20 use different color that's the only thing you should change the third one is period 30 you understand same parameter i just use different color so the um fourth one is 40 use separate color the last one is 50 use separate color so after you have input all those indicators you understand you know each moving average tell us what has been happened for the market you know the same period tell us the um, um sequence of open and close of the 10 past 10 candles like past 10 minutes what has been happening in the market why the 20 tell us the information of the past 20 minutes why the um first tell us the past information of the um the information of the past 40 minutes why the um 50 tell us the information of the past 50 minutes so now we have five indicators to tell us what they are happening once we have the information of 10 minutes align with the information of 20 minutes align with the information of 30 minutes to the 50 minutes that means and all the indicators are telling us the same thing that means 
that is a valid information for us you understand that's already giving us an edge you can see that all the indicators you know how rsi work right rsi the 90 level is the overbought while the 10 level is the oversold and when all these in the moving average has already come to the oversold region you understand all the information all the moving average give us same information what's next is for spikes or quo there is no way make sure all the indicators has already aligned the last one to get here will be the 50 moving average you know it gives us about the information uh, about 15 minutes information so it's going to take time so once we waited for the 50 minutes moving average to get here there's nothing going to sp uh, stop this spike you understand though um anything can happen in the market you understand have that uh, mindset but out of 10 it will happen spike we occur you understand once you buy and after like three minutes the spike doesn't happen three to four minutes just close the trade but it doesn't really come out like that the spike will actually happen the spike will not be as long as um you want but the spike will occur which is very sure because if the trend is very strong the spike may not be as long as you want you can see this as a very as a small spike you understand it stopped here and market it because it seems that this uh, um, trend is very strong. So if you are using this um, strategy to sell normal on boom, so once all the moving average has get to the offer uh, bot region and they want to sell, so you waited for the price to cross this or the moving average to cross each other. That is the usefulness of this uh, moving average on the main chart. But when you are cashing spike, you are less concerned about um the moving average on the main chart you understand what we focus on on this um um indicator window you understand so you can see here too you can see here too so you know before i drop signals under this channel is what our back says i like back testing a lot i like back testing a lot you understand so throughout the night i like using it to back test back test back test because i like confirming what i'm using it to even because i don't like trading demo accounts you understand instead of trading demo accounts i back test even for currency pair i back test a lot that is uh, one thing i like using trading fuel for it's give me access to back test easily you understand so i back test so come on, so I've already back test. I already know the conditions that are attached to the strategy. It gives me um, confidence to go into the live trading direct without even um, using any demo trading. So you understand? So guys, um, try to um, back test the strategy demo trading before you put it on the live account. If you're a beginner, um, just take note of this video. If you have any question, uh, my contact address is under the description of this video. You can join our Telegram channel. So guys, I wish you happy trading. Always trade responsible.